What's up everyone? Today I will be making dalgos. But I'm sure the aunties are gonna get very angry with me because first of all I didn't use onions and I did it my own way. So let's see how it goes. Hope you enjoy. Okay, step one for dalgos. We're going to start off with a little bit of oil and then we're just gonna add about a liter of water. Next we add the red lentil split seeds. One teaspoon of salt taste and we leave that on medium heat until it boils okay so here we have 500 grams of lean lamb first we're going to add a teaspoon of salt a teaspoon of jeera powder a teaspoon of mild masala a teaspoon of dhania powder a teaspoon of kashmir chili powder a teaspoon of garam masala and one teaspoon of garlic and ginger paste we will add a touch of oil give that a mix cover it and we'll keep this in the fridge for about an hour to marinate while the dal is getting ready. More often than not, I like to smash the dal down. And now when you see the texture is almost how you like it, we will add a quarter teaspoon of turmeric. Give it a mix in. And since we're gonna add this to the lamb, I'm not gonna braise it, but it will braise while it goes into the lamb. We still got the lamb marinating in the fridge, but those spices it's marinating in, those will bring out the flavor. In our step two for the meat, first we're gonna start off with two cloves of garlic, just sliced. We're gonna add half a cinnamon stick, three cloves. Count the cloves because you might wanna take it out later. I don't like biting on them. Three dried red chilies and two bay leaves. Let's fry that for around three minutes. Next we add half a teaspoon of mustard seeds, a touch of lychee powder and a touch of egg yellow. Now these are pretty strong, so that's why it's a little bit. Okay, now we can go ahead and add a lamb. Fry the lamb for around 5 to 6 minutes. After 5 to 6 minutes, just add in a little bit more oil so you can fry a bit more. Okay, so next we just add in a little bit of water, not too much. But I use the same bowl to marinating in, so we get all the spices out there. We just want the meat to cook. So now we can just put it on high, just to get the water to boil and then leave it to simmer. So once the lamb is ready, you can go ahead and add it into the dal. That looks delicious already. I can just smell that aroma. Don't forget to click the like button. It really helps the channel. And also hit that subscribe button and leave a comment. And then just give it a nice good mix and it's ready. Mm -hmm. 